What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another All the Mods 8 Hardcore Minecraft video. My name is Joshy GG. In the last video, we moved our refined storage solution and auto crafting out into our mining dimension, quote unquote, base. This video, we're going to start the process of trying to figure out better solutions and options that are available for us. So, yeah. And by options and solutions that are better for us, I mean typically pretty much just figuring out what all we need to do to kind of expand upon our base here. We have that gigantic ship up there that I stole from the overworld. We have a lot of other really awesome, uh, well, a lot of really awesome ideas in the works. And I am, I want to try to kind of finish all that stuff as quickly as I can, but I also want to take my time with it at the same time, because I want to be able to expand and continue to be able to create content for you guys without it being constant resource collecting. Because at the end of the day, this right here, the 575,000 right there just is not going to cut it. Um, this is, that's basically going to be about 600,000 or just, just around just over 700,000, um, for our uh, antimatter. There's 114 GFE in there. We're still working towards that, which actually I want to do this. I have the ultimate, let me do normal so I can see. I have the ultimate induction cell. Let's go ahead and create the ultimate uh, uh, induction provider. So you can see we're missing a ridiculous amount of parts and it's not actually showing because um, well, we moved the patterns. So I'm gonna need to take a look at what patterns I have and what patterns I don't have and figure out, there we go, all right. So I have been looking in the wrong backpack the entire time. Looky there, cool. So let's go ahead over to our little base over here, our little section of the base over here, and we're gonna throw these patterns that we have in here into the correct pattern. So this one right here is a charcoal one. So the charcoal one is pretty much not going to do anything for us here. Um, this one right here is our redstone one, which the redstone one is going to create our infused alloy. This one right here is our enriched diamond one. This is going to create our refined obsidian dust. And then of course our reinforced alloy. This is our refined, which is going to create our um, I don't think I had anything in here now that I think about it because the enrichment center is the one that creates the that turns diamonds to if I'm not mistaken turns diamonds to uh, that and I think an osmium ingot as well so let's grab an osmium just to make sure I'm looking at this right I could be mistaken so we'll throw that okay so the osmium ingot does not go in there so I think that one actually goes into because this one will turn into the enriched diamond so as you notice, it did not go back into our system. I do need to, um, I do need to do a uh, pull feature, which means I will have to kind of adjust these. But I, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, actually, I probably should work on that. Um, I think the osmium ingot goes in the. Okay, cool. So it'll go in here. Got it. And the osmium, obsidian to obsidian dust will be in our enrichment center. And our diamond to diamond, enriched diamond will be in there as well. So let's go ahead and figure out a way and a solution to best pull the materials out of here. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of the glowstone. But I also don't want to have to end up moving around some of the, like most of this stuff. So I guess a way we could do that is... By plopping a network transmitter right here. No, a network receiver. We need a network receiver. Um, do I have a network receiver in here? No, I do not. We'll, of course, throw our uh, a network transmitter right there. Um, I thought I had a network receiver in there. But the network receiver will plop you right here. Actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do something schmancy. Sh we're gonna plop, uh, I don't have, okay, I have them right here. Cool, we're gonna plop this right here, and then the network uh, transmitter, which is not what I wanted. 
goodness gracious. Network receiver right here. Break that, and then now we're going to do, I think it's the exporter, if I'm not mistaken. So go back to refine storage. The exporter is used to push items from your system into a block from your network storage. That's doing that from the crafting back there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually, no, I will need to do one of each. So let me grab five exporters and five importers. So I think we have some more exporters in this bag right here. We do have importers and exporters, and we have a regular importer. Those are exporters. So I think we have plenty of those. So we just need two more exporters. So what are we missing? Okay. Okay, so we'll just um, do do what we have real quick. Um, so that'll be this one, this one, and this one. And then the importers will just plop on top here. And then now how we'll do this, grab the cables. Do this right here. Okay, so now I'm going to come back into my bag here, grab a network card. Shift right click that, come over here and plop that right there. Okay, so now I should be able, in theory, be able to do this right here. Our induction, click start, and now we're just missing the atomic alloy, which I thought I had a um, pattern for that. So let me come over to my pattern creator, which is this one, we'll plop this pattern right there. We'll do atomic, click this, 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 and this is on our refined one. So this is uh, this is where it'll go right here. We'll plop that right there. Now I should, again, in theory, be able to come back in here, do ultimate, and then try this one more time. Click start. And then now these should begin the process of creating what we need it to create and then exporting what we need it to export. So now I need to do a um, create two more exporters and one more importer. So to create a ultra exporter, basically just need two elite exporters, um, which I don't have any of these either, which conveniently I don't have any of these either. One, two, three, four. So we'll plop you in there. And then now these will come in here and then we'll have to actually create more for these as well. Okay. So, Hmm. So this might be a, this might pose a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't really care too much about the crusher and advanced inscriber, mostly about the furnace that I'm more worried about. Um, so let's, um, hmm. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. So now we'll create, oh, I need four of those, don't I? Did I not create four of those? I thought I did. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> that po that does pose a little bit of a problem. That that would that would be the issue right there, wouldn't it? Okay, so those are those are not doing their thing anymore. So this one's empty. This one requires redstone, if I'm not mistaken. This one requires. This one's still good. Okay, so that's gonna uh, it's gonna require me to kind of go back and forth on it, which I'll do here for a little bit. So give me one second. Let me make my stuff real quick. Grab you, pop you in there. I think I actually need. No, I don't. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I need eight of those. Need two of these. One, two, three, four. Might as well just make four. Okay. Okay, so this is another exporter, which is this front. Okay, boom. So 
So we just need one more importer and one more exporter. We have an importer right here, so I could pretty much, which actually I don't really need to use the, um, like the enrichment chamber is not, I'm not that worried about that one. I'm more or less worried about the meta, uh, metallurgic infusers. Um, probably should. There's no, I don't have any more faces on this to be able to do that. So I'm going to have to figure out another solution for that, but it should be okay for the time being. Um, I will need to figure out the furnace situation though, because the furnace situation is absolutely going to be the one that is going to require a uh, decent amount of, um, well, resourcing. So like you can see right here, the sand and everything, I have to be able to, yeah. So let me just see. I don't, I'm surprised I don't have another exporter. I thought I did. I have an elite importer right here. Do I really not have any more exporters? Huh. It's kind of disappointing. What if I just create one of these real quick? Um, a simple one, um, just for the time being. Because I'd much rather just be able to create one of these um, and kind of just deal with it at this point and then in the future upgrade it. Because I do need an importer and exporter for this like quickly. <laughs> Which I have the importer, I just need the exporter. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab that um, and then grab our cables. Which we still have 20 of them. And then now we'll come back in here, we'll grab these stone tiles and then we'll plop a we need another network receiver actually no hold on nah yeah we need another network receiver um, Okay, get those. Put that. Oops. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Okay. And then now we just come over here, pop this right there, and then come back into our bag, grab a network card, come back over here. Right click that, click that, click that. And now all we got to do here is the importer goes on top, exporter goes in front, and then cable connects. Boom. And now this should allow for everything to kind of move smoothly to a degree. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect, <laughs> so don't mind me. Um, I'm still kind of just trying to figure this out. I want to make sure that everything kind of runs efficiently. Um, I might spread these out a little bit and then maybe figure something else out to do with that. Um, so the, these pretty much are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm going to have to figure out a solution for that though, because I don't want to end up just consistent, like consistently having to kind of come back in and check this. Um, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll figure it out. We, we got it. We got partially a bit of it done. So that right there, those alloys are already done or that, that singular alloy is already done. So that's good. So yeah, that's pretty fun. So we're pretty much making progress on our, on our base here. Um, I'm likely going to do the move and, you know, spreading these out uh, a little bit off recording just to kind of see. I want to go back in here and make sure I didn't leave anything in here. Um, I don't think I did, but it doesn't hurt to check. So obviously all this stuff, I'm, I'm going to have to do stuff with, I mean, something with all this stuff, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I can leave the compact machine here and be okay with it. So... Cool, that is a big piece out of the way. So next thing that we're gonna be focusing on with the base is likely moving um, 
something into that ship, probably from one of the other um, compact machines. Uh, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to move anything related to the, um, still nighttime. Pro don't think I'm going to move anything related to the like mob farm or anything like that into out of the compact machine because I like having that in a compact machine. It makes it a little bit easier to manage. Um, this is at 612,000. This is at 46,000. This is at 119. Okay. But yeah, so I think we could probably get away with moving this now. Over to our... Um, over to our base. And the reason I want to do that is because that will provide a little bit more and I can set up a network receiver with that. So I guess I do have to create one. Actually, is there a network receiver over here that I can get rid or uh, remove and use somewhere else? Probably the sulfur one because I feel like I'm still... Wait, I'll just do this one because this is my uranium one and I am going to go back and forth with the uranium one. Um... Yeah, I, I want to just, I'll, this is this is pretty much the only way I can do things is by, or keep this series going is by just doing small things like this. Um, but what I'll do here, so I'll go back to our mining dimension base. And then now, I think I will set up these guys, not these guys, these guys. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll set these up somewhere over here as well oh. let's see hmm. I think that should be good not mistaken. We'll find out. <laughs> and then plop that in the middle. Actually, no, we want to plop that. Because we are going to do the same thing we have over there with the modular router and everything. We're going to plop this. Uh, I'm going to plop this one. Make sure this is even. I'm going to plop this on top of the glowstone. Um, cool. Okay. We're going to. Put this one right here. And then the crafter goes in front of it. I think I have another crafter. I do not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> Make sure I don't have one in my bag over here. Mm, no, okay. We're missing a singular destruction core, which should not be a problem to create. Destruction core. Boom. And now we'll just create our crafter real quick. That should be a pretty quick make. I don't think that's going to require a lot too much of a lot of stuff. Um, but now I need to grab the modular router. So this bad boy. And then I think it's an interface. Yes, an interface. Don't have another interface, I don't think. Surprisingly, I do. <laughs> and then we'll, um, I'll wait for that for the crafter to be done. And I think the crafter is probably going to require something over here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's going to require an advanced processing unit, um, which for some odd reason, this is not actually doing what it's supposed to. Um, let's see. Basic processor. Oops. Have one right here. How many do I need? You know what? I'm just going to do this. And then we're going to come in here. I'm going to type in crafter. Missing an advanced... Using this, I'll have to figure out a, a good way to do this uh, that's a little bit more efficient. 
Um, oh, you can see right there, it actually didn't um, send it back up through the machine. So that that can po oh wait, you know why? Uh, top is gonna be input, front is gonna be output. <laughs> It just that's what's that that's why it wasn't doing anything so what we'll do here is I'm gonna cancel that um, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just going to go ahead and create this while I'm here and then the other thing I'm gonna need um, this is for anybody who hasn't seen my other video kind of talking about how to do this um, do the automation we're gonna need one of these one of these and one of these so pretty simple so we'll start off with the um, Let's start off with the Polar Module Mach 2. So that's gonna require a Polar Module Mach 1 and an inner pearl. So Polar Mo Module Mach 1 just requires a blank module and a sticky piston, which is a piston with slime. So we'll go ahead and make that real quick. Wait a minute. There we go. That's a sender module. I need the Polar Module. There we go. So we will need to make another um, uh, another piston, but this piston is a little bit easier. It's not as sticky for this cinder So now we can make our cinder module, but these are both Mach 2s So I just made Mach 1s except for the polar module for the Mach 1 Mach 2 cinder module All it is is just the same way with an ender pearl um, Now the redstone detector is going to require blank modules Pretty easy to make redstone three paper three golden nuggets and then a redstone comparator, which is three redstone torches, nether quartz, and then some stone. Plop that in there. We'll come back here and do this right here. So for the um, for this piece, what we'll do is we will plop our crafter down right there. We'll plop our modular router on the front right here. And nope, not what I wanted to do. We'll plop our modular router on the front right here facing this, and then our interface here in the back. And now, what we'll do for this is we need to connect this network receiver to a network transmitter over there. So now we'll come back in here, do network. We have a network card right here, beautiful. Another network receiver, or a transmitter I should say. And then we'll run back over here and we'll plop this and connect this to our system. Click right there. I should have right clicked that while I was here. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> we'll do that right there and when we bring it over here and connect it to here that interface will turn on and then boom and then now that interface is turned on so now let's talk about the three modules that we have here the center module mark II, the detector module and the polar module mark II. so for the center for the polar module you'll want empty blacklist damage for flags any match and with a range of 12. And then you're basically going to energize, you're basically going to connect it to the energizing orb. So I'll kind of show this to you real quick. So with the polar module, you'll just right, oops, not what I meant to do. Shift right click the that bad boy. You can see everything's pretty much the same. And we'll plop that down right there. I think that's actually the last one. And the center module is the first one. Wait, no. No, center module is the last one. Okay, so for the redstone module, you'll do direction down, and then everything will pretty much be normal. So you'll just do direction down. Um, you will want to make sure that all of these are kind of set appropriately. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be signal 15, match any. Um, I think that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Um, Yes, okay. So now we'll make sure that this right here is selected and then we will plop this in second. This will be your second course. And then the cinder module, very similar to the other one over there, except this time you'll right click the, um, maybe. Uh, no, you'll right click the interface, that's right. Um, so you see, uh, 17125560404. If I come right here, 17125403, and you'll want it to be 255, which is technically this one right here, I believe. 
yeah, so it'll be the actual interface. So one of these we will have to make sure, so here, let me do this real quick, and then plop that in. Uh, you'll want to do, change this to, uh, not this one. Um, is it pulsed? There's a specific uh, redstone signal you'll have to do. I don't remember exactly which one it was. So it'll be redstone mode low, echo mode disabled. Um, oh, this one. Um, might be the ignore redstone signal. I don't actually remember. <laughs> There's a specific thing you have to do for that. Um, I'm still trying to remember. Uh, I think it's just low. That should be fine. Okay. So now if I come back in here and I do alloy, oh, wait. let's go back to our pattern real quick. Okay. Let's go back to our pattern grid real quick because I do have to create the pattern for it. Um, so crafting, we'll do our pattern grid. We'll do pattern. Grab our patterns, plop you in there. Do this and then do alloy. And then we will click on the unobtainium, all the modium alloy. Um, we'll do energizing, plop it right there, grab that, and then do this. And then now we will bring this over to our other, our new system. And this should allow us to basically synchronize it. So if I do this right here and do two, both of these should begin working. Well, this one obviously won't because I don't have anything in it, but you saw how it pushed the stuff straight to it. So now we have, um, now we have the, uh, well pretty much, we have the correct sense of things. I just hope that what I'm doing here uh, works and these actually go through what they're supposed to. They do, wonderful. Beautiful, okay. So now you see right there, um, we now have two machines doing our alloys um, and they're pretty much going to alternate based upon the direction or however many I have. So let's say I make five, whichever one gets done first, that one will pick up the next one. So one may do more than the other depending on the uh, speed and the capability of each of the energizing rods. But that's pretty much how you make the, uh, <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you can automate your alloys. Um, very beneficial. Uh, obviously, most of you guys probably already knew that, but there are ways that we can do this uh, that'll be a little bit more beneficial and quicker, but I'm not necessarily going to try to fight that right now. Um, for the most part, this stuff right here, I'm just going to have to do a couple different segments. Um, uh, when, I, when I say segments, I mean more or less that I'm going to have to go through and make sure that I am expanding out my metallurgic infusers and in uh, mostly my metallurgic infusers and my furnace so I can have s material go through in and out. So let's try this again. And then our furnace should, should work. So front is output as far as I'm aware. Um, Right? Or is that the other way? Hold on, exporter. Push items from your system into a block. No, okay, I'm backwards. So top is gonna be output, front is gonna be input. So let's try that again. I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, we'll try this again. It's not doing anything. It says exporter used to push items from your system into a block. So front is going to be your input because that's the exporter. Top is going to be your importer, which is going to be your, which at that entire thing is confusing to me, but whatever. Um, definitely going to need to figure out a solution for this so I can um, not have to do this nonsense all the time. <laughs> this is definitely going to get old and I, I'll just have to figure out, I'll just have to move some stuff around. 
Uh, I'll make it work though. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, this right here, I need to figure out why it's not working. Um, let's try this. Let's cancel that. Let's do glass. And I'll do this and then start, start. That. Hmm. Huh. Let's try this instead. Let's put the exporter in the on the top and the importer right there. And then let's swap these two back around. And then let's do turn auto split on. And then now we'll do this right here. Try to create another one. See if that works. It's still not working. Okay. I need to figure out why that isn't. Um, Sending because these are these are working perfectly fine. Maybe is it because the exporter isn't an elite? I don't know. It's very strange. Wait a minute. Is that one already done? I just create. I just started that. How is that one already done? What? How far along is this one? I don't realize, I, I, I am failing to realize how quick those are actually going to work. Um, let's try this. Imp well, no, it won't work because uh, let's do this right here. And then we will do this right here. I just want to see if this works. I'm going to do it exactly the same way. So exporter on the front, importer on the back, or on the top. So exporter in front, right there. So exporter is going to push stuff from the uh, system in. It's going to go that way. Auto config works. Now we'll do glass. We'll do glass, start, start. Still not working. Okay. Um, let's see here. It's going to be 130, 135, 257, 583. 135, 2, 583. Wait, what? <laughs> Trusty note, pad++. I'm not going to remember that. So... 135, 257, negative 583. Okay. So it's going to be 256. 135, 256, negative 583. Got it. Okay. I have a feeling it's because. Well, no, because. Actually, I just need to do this just to make sure. Um, Let's do cable, because this could very well be the problem that I'm just failing to see. I, I might very well just have missed that, that I had to do that, but we'll see. And glass again, start, start. Still nothing, okay. Interesting. It's very curious that it's not working. I will have to figure this one out because sand is right here. So sand is absolutely inside of the of the furnace. Huh. Curious. Because these are doing the exact same way. And this one right here was pulling osmium and pushing it back with an importer on top, exporter on bottom. Importer on top, or exporter on front. And then of course you have, oh, well, this isn't, um, top is, oh, hold on. Item config, so. Hmm. 
can put in front. Let's just try this then. We'll just grab some more redstone and plop it in there. And then we'll do ultimate. We'll just give this a try again. So yeah, this is pulling the iron ingots in. Input on front, output on top. Okay. Input on front, output on top. Auto output on, auto input on. No redstone signal necessary. Augments are good. I don't know. Very strange. Um, uh, the diamond one was working perfectly fine with this similar setup. The only thing I can think of trying is seeing if the diamond one works. Um, and then we'll do, well, actually I need to make sure put it off. So it's going to be input front, output top. All right. Input front, output top, auto output on, auto input on. Glass. We will do this, oh, that's structural glass. I don't need that. Um, glass, start, start. Okay. So there's obviously something going on here that's blocking me from being able to use the furnace now. So I'm going to have to do some research and, and fiddle around with it to get it working. And I'll do that off recording because I don't want to end up... I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next video when we record uh, all the mods 8 again. I'll let you guys know what I did to fix that if I do end up fixing it. Um, I just... I don't exactly know what the... Uh, what the... What? What did I just do? Back? Oh! I don't know what that was. Okay, so let's see if the crafting worked. The crafting did not work. So let's do this right here, and then we'll come back in here and we'll do, hold on. Uh, change this back to input. We'll come here and we'll do glass and we will. Okay, so that's what it is. So I have to have um, an input on the back for the crafter. I didn't know that because um, I wasn't really paying attention to these right here. Um, <laughs> uh, you can see the back is also input. So fixed it, fixed it on the recording. <laughs> Knew you guys could do it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, just some more shenanigans that we've been doing here. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful before we actually cut this video. I do want to check to see we're up to a decent amount of, uh, essence here. So let's go ahead and make our another quartz real quick. Do 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 do. Go ahead and um, create these, a decent amount. It was about 3K, so we'll see uh, how much more we're gonna need for our, ten, our uh, ridiculous <laughs> um, storage component. Oops, that's gonna be crazy. I mean, just thinking about it, that's, I'm, I'm genuinely not excited about this, but I think it's the uh, 1048 mil part. Um, so we're, we're missing I don't see us actually missing, oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. Um, surprisingly, we're only missing gold, silicon, and all the modium. It's not showing that we're missing any more. Um, it's not showing that we're missing any more uh, nether quartz. Interesting. So let's um let's let me do some let me do some digging off recording and I will I will try to figure out a way to see if we can go ahead and get that stuff started up so we can make this 1048. But with all of that being said, I want to thank you guys so very much for all of the support you guys have given the the series and the channel. Um, as you guys know, Monday, March 10th, we started or March 11th, sorry, March 11th. We kicked off our beginning, the beginning of our new series. 
on all the mods nine it's a regular hard uh, regular minecraft playthrough and i'm really excited to continue that one um i will continue working that and kind of coming up with great like potential solutions and potential opportunities for everything um but with that being said i'm gonna end this video here i'm excited uh these videos are going live march 12th so march 13th back tomorrow if you're watching this on the 12th tomorrow we will be back to all the mods nine um i was apparently there was a comment that said hey you need to start looking at the chest because there was bunny slippers in the same chest that there were some kitty slippers in so i want to go back and look into that um but make sure i didn't slip over some bunny slippers because i need those but anyway with that being said hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video hit the dislike button if you didn't enjoy the video leave a comment down below let me know what i could do better to make these videos more enjoyable for you guys subscribe if you haven't already join our discord if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye